Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 3 where we are learning about trigonometry. This is episode number 8 and today's topic is understanding the trigonometric ratios for 45 degree angle. This should be ratios. So friends, let's get started. Now, earlier in episode 3 we learned about trigonometric ratios and we learned that whenever we talk about trigonometric ratios, there are 6 of them, we always talk about them in the context of an angle. So, what we mean by that is, assume that we have drawn ourselves a right angle triangle, right triangle ABC, let's say angle B is 90 degrees. Now, this is a right triangle, so angle A and angle C are the acute angles. So, we can say angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because sum total of three angles, A, B and C, or A, B and C is 180 degrees. So if B alone is 90 degrees, A and C together will be 90 degrees. Now if you think about how many ways can you draw a right triangle such that angle A and angle C, if you add them, is 90 degrees? The answer is infinite number of ways, right? Just to take some examples, I can draw angle A as 10 and angle C as 80 and I will have a right angle triangle. I can draw angle A as 20 and angle B as 70. I can have a angle C as 70. I will have a right angle triangle, right triangle. I can do angle A as 30 and angle C as 60 and I'll have another right triangle. So the point I'm trying to draw at is that there are literally infinite number of ways in which we can do a right triangle right and our webisode 3 onwards we have learned that whenever we express trigonometric ratio question is trigonometric ratio of what trigonometric ratio of an angle now since in a right triangle we can have you know the angles can have infinite combinations so we cannot really focus on trigonometric ratio ratios for all angles so friends, what we are going to do, we are going to focus on angles 30 degrees, angles 45 degrees, angle 60 degree, and then these will be our standard angles that we will look to really focus on and find what are the trigonometric ratios. And then 0 degrees and 90 degrees will be two special cases that we would want to learn as well. So in today's webisode, the focus is on learning trigonometric ratios for 45 degree angle. So now, friends, let's let's give ourselves, ourselves some space. So we have drawn the triangle ABC. Let's say angle B is 90 degrees. And because we want to find out trigonometric ratio ratios of 45 degree angle, let's assume one of these angles is 45 degrees. Now, if this is 45 degrees, then angle C automatically becomes 45 degrees. Why? Again, friends, sum total of three angles A, B, and C is equal to 180 degrees. So if we know two of them, we can find third one. Now, if you look at triangle ABC, what we have is angle A is equal to 45 degrees, which is the same value as equal to angle C. So we have angle in we have angle A equal to angle C. So these this triangle ABC is a right triangle, we know that. Additionally, it is an isosceles triangle. Why? Because we know there is a theorem that states the sides opposite to equal angles in a triangle are equal. So if these two angles are equal, the side opposite to angle C is AB and the side opposite to angle A is BC. So these two lengths should be equal. So a triangle where I have two equal sides is an isosceles triangle. Now friends, let us imagine. So what we have is, let's write it here. We have BC is equal to BC is equal to AB. Now let's assume that the length is A units, meaning the measure of this length. Let's call it A units. You don't have to write A. A is just like any any positive real number. You could have written that this as X, K, Q, whatever that you choose, right? 
So if this is A, then this must be A because we just saw these two are equal. Now applying Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC, we know AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now what is AB? AB is A. So this will be A square plus BC is equal to A that will be a square or from here it implies that ac square is equal to a square plus a square is 2a square now taking square root on both sides ac will be equal to square root 2 times a so this length ac will be square root 2 times a now we have a right triangle ABC and I have three sides known to me. So AB, BC and AC. So the, friends, this is what we have been seeing from episode 5 onwards, 5, 6 and 7. Those three episodes where we totally focused on solving questions or problems based on trigonometric ratio of angle. So we saw that whenever we know two sides, we find out a third side. And at that point, we can really find out all of the trigonometric ratios. So now that we have our three sides, so we can find out the trigonometric ratios for 45 degree angle. So let's, let's write it out here. So we have sine 45 degrees. So sine 45 degrees will be so 45 degree angle. So in this case, it's a coincidence because this angle A or angle C both are 45 degrees. So it doesn't matter whether you want to take angle A or angle C. Since we started with angle A as 45 degrees, we'll go with that. Sine 45 degrees will be equal to BC, BC divided by AC, which is equal to BC is A, AC is square root times A. So A and A cancel out. It will be 1 by square root 2. Cos 45 degrees will be equal to, it will be equal to AB by AC. So AB is A, AC is square root times A. A and A cancel out. So this will be equal to 1 by square root 2. Let's write tan A here or tan 45 degrees. Tan 45 degrees will be equal to BC by AB. Now here BC by AB both are A by A. So that will cancel out. You will get 1. So friends I have written the trigonometric ratio for sine 45 degrees, cos 45 degrees and tan 45 degrees. So cosec 45 degree will be reciprocal of this. So it will be square root 2. Sec 45 degree will be reciprocal of cos 45 degree. So that will be square root 2. And cot 45 degree will be reciprocal of tan 45 degree which will be 1. So friends now let us just write them officially nice and cleanly here. So I have a right triangle this angle is 45 degrees and what I have is sine 45 degrees will be 1 divided by square root 2. Cos 45 degrees will be 1 divided by square root 2. Tan 45 degrees will be 1. Cosec 45 degrees will be in opposite uh, reciprocal of this. So it will be square root 2. Sec 45 degrees will be reciprocal of cos 45 degrees. So this will be square root 2. Cot 45 degrees similarly will be reciprocal of tan 45 degrees. And it will be 1. In the next episode friends, we are going to take a look at trigonometric ratios of 60 degrees.